there appears to be a debate over de-dollarization which has raged for the past several months, perhaps because the Russian ruble is being squeezed out over the war with Ukraine. Other countries seem to be lining up against the dollar because of the perceived risk that their assets can be frozen like Russia's. This has motivated cross-currency deals between countries like China, Russia, Brazil, and India, among others. So, are the remaining days of the dollar dominance numbered? Currently, only three currencies can be considered a possibility to remove the dollar's dominance. This includes the euro, the Japanese yen, and the Chinese yuan. However, Japan's days are over, and Japan wants to remain in step with the U.S. given the militarization of South Asia. So Japan is content to sit this one out. And Europe is aging quite rapidly, and it's difficult to get a consensus among all of the member countries. With Brexit and the waning manufacturing and industrial strength of Europe, the euro is not much of a contender any longer. And that leaves the Chinese yuan. China is trying to have its moment in the sun as a challenger to the U.S. dollar. China has broadened the use of its currency internationally, and has forged cross-currency deals with several countries, including Russia, Brazil, and Iran. However, this appears to be more an effort to circumvent the dollar rather than replace it as a reserve currency, and the same could be said about Bitcoin and other digital currencies. The main reason that the yuan will not replace the dollar is that China does not want to liberalize the currency. Liberalizing the currency means to allow money to move freely, and China wants to keep tight control of the yuan. With a reserve currency, you can't manipulate the value on a daily basis. It needs to move with the ebbs and flows of the market. With a command economy, a country cannot afford money to flee, and that is exactly the opposite of what China wants. Without digging too deep, with a reserve currency, the U.S. has to continually run a deficit because there's more global demand for U.S. dollars than American demand for imports, which are also being paid for in dollars. As of 2022, 54% of global foreign exchange was made in U.S. dollars, while the euro accounted for 20%. The yuan made up just 2.5% of this stash. China has a long way to go to replace the dollar. And lastly, no one wants the yuan. Not even China. Chudog out.